So what we have here are just um, basically your spare ribs. This big slab, I already cut the membrane off, trimmed a lot of the excess fat. So what I'm gonna do, take some lime juice. Uh, I got this secret from Cowboy Kent Rollins and I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below. So lime juice is a natural tenderizer. I just sprinkle some of that on, not too much, I might a little heavy on this side. Rub it in real good. Flip it over. Oops. Uh, put a little more on here. This side. Rub that in. Alright, so for my rub, I use a homemade rub with a mixture of about one third garlic powder, one third black pepper, and one third Tony Sachery's More Spice Creole Seasoning. So, I'll take some of that. Sprinkle it liberally on here. Come on, get out of there. Do -do -do. I know this is probably not the most exciting thing you've ever seen. Come on, need a lot of it. Really get a lot of it on there. All right, so let's rub that in. And there's lots of different rubs on the market, but I like this particular version. Flip it back over. <coughs> now, obviously, I need to clean this little shaker can again because I've touched raw pork and picked it up. So I'll sanitize it when I'm finished. Get all that in there. Okay, let's rub that in, mash that in really good, and let's get some longer here. This little flap. And there we go. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to wrap this in foil, stick it in the refrigerator for a few hours, and then I'll go on to next, on to step two. And we're back. So it's been a few hours. I crushed up and sliced some garlic, put on here. So I'm gonna wrap this puppy up in foil. And then I am going to bake it for one hour at 300 degrees. And we're back. So here's about an hour in the oven. And you can see, nice and juicy so far. This is a brand new grill. Offset smoker that I just bought. There's the coals in there. So this will be the first time anything has ever been on this grill. So let's slap this puppy on here with those juices. All right. There we go. So back and I can use these juices squirt on there later if it gets too dried out so there we go I'm gonna close this up the temperature went down because I just had that open so and get some wet wood I'll put on there in a minute okay we're back I got this sucker way too hot so I had to cool it down it's cooking a lot faster than I was I would hope for so let's take a look. As you can see, cooking well. I put a little water here to help cool the temperature down. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Korean barbecue. This is Chung Jung One spicy Korean barbecue sauce. I really like this stuff. Um, use it before. So first, I'm gonna flip the ribs. And get the other side. Like I said, I am a total amateur, so if you see me doing anything wrong, just leave the comments. Alright, let's slather some of this on here. Mm -hmm. On here. Good. Sometimes I do a dry rub. 
sometimes I use a uh, Kroger grocery store brand Caribbean jerk marinade sauce instead of barbecue sauce instead of marinated I just put it on my barbecue it doesn't have the sugar so it's not going to caramelize like barbecue sauce does but if you don't like a lot of sugar in your food and you can use that Caribbean jerk sauce so put that on there let that cook in a minute and flip it and do the other side in a moment all right All right, so here's the finished product. Mm. Nice char, as you see here. I'm trying to do this one-handed here, which is probably not easy to butcher something with one hand. Uh, that off there. Pretty good. A little trial and error, but it'll work out. And for the best later on.